Liam, the uh, cup final every year is always a glamorous affair, and I think it's fair to say that this year we have two of the best sides in the league in it. Glen Torn against Portadown. Very special occasion. Biggest day out in local football, Adrian. Uh, I've enjoyed it a couple of times myself, actually, and it's to be honest, it is the biggest day. It's, no, it's not the most important competition in the country. I, I rate it the second highest. The league is obviously the number one. But it's a great day out for everybody. They all get their suits and get their carnations and they all get to uh, sample what's a great atmosphere. There should be a big, big crowd. Pour it down, always turn out in numbers. The Glen's obviously a bit resurgent now uh, under Eddie, I must say. Transitional period, but come good and have a decent league campaign and, and they're in the final and they're there on merit. So, fabulous, fabulous day. Who'd want it as another thing? I suppose it's a cliche, you know, and sports journalists are guilty of producing them all the time, but uh, I would suggest in a cup final that the form really goes out the window. There's no such thing as form in a cup final. Yeah, you can look at the stats, and, <laughs> and, and you know on radio and television they'll all work on the stats. League positions and that count for nothing. Uh, I was lucky to won it twice, Adrian, in 75. The Korean team I played in was probably the best team I've ever played in, and they were by far the best team that year in Irish League football. But in 77, we won it again, comprehensively beat Linfield in the final 4-1 with what I thought was a mediocre side. We weren't a very good side in 77. So it just goes to show that it's on the day, it's the wall to one, it's who has the heart. Pour it down would have the better players, Adrian, on paper. But that counts for nothing because sometimes the bigger stars can be fickle. And if they don't have the best of starts, if they take a bad first touch or something, it can very easily go the other way. Eddie will have his young troops. I think there'll be underdogs on the day. Slight underdogs, I would say. I think it's a very close one to call. But, you know, Glen turns in with a great chance of winning it. But Ronnie will feel the same at Porter Down. Of course, there's no love lost between the clubs, you know, <clears throat> with Ronnie's connection with Glen Torn, and then, of course, as you say, Eddie Patterson, what a marvellous job he's done with Glen Torn with limited resources, and yet they've, they've gone on a fantastic run since, say, the turn of the year. Fabulous. And then, of course, both of them will see it as their entry to Europe as well, Adrian. To win the cup guarantees you European football, guarantees you income, uh, which is a, a boost that all Irish league clubs need. They're both battling to try and get it in their league positions as well, but winning the cup could take that out of the equation, their league position. So it's a close one to call. Probably on paper, as I say, Portadown have the better team. Uh, but Glen Torn, I think, are on a great run. The momentum's there. Uh, it's not long to go now. So, no, I think it's a close one to call. I wouldn't rule out a Glen Torn victory on the day because they have match winners, Adrian. You need impact players and match winners in cup finals. And where they have, Bora Down have Twig and McAllister and people like that and Darren Murray and those type of players. Glen Torn have Curtis Allen and they have young Jordan Stewart. And they have players who are, are, are scoring goals. They have, they have the wee lad Michael Orham who's playing out of his skin at the minute. So they have impact players as well in their troops and you need that on the big days. You talk about a big day, and uh, for big day, you get big characters too. And there's none big, you know, bigger than Ronnie McFall. You mentioned him there. You know, we talk about him like that. But the longest serving <laughs> manager in European football, he really is a, a credit to himself, a credit to local football as well. What a marvellous, marvellous character. Fabulous. Uh, <coughs> I've, I've nothing but the utmost admiration for Ronnie. I played against him when he was a player and he had a clingy. In fact, <laughs> that was the only ground I knew they didn't need a lawnmower for Ronnie Moda every time he played. <laughs> He had a big left leg that just swiped everything. But he was a wholehearted player. He always gave of his best. And he's the same as a manager. And that's why he has stood the test of time, Adrian, because he gives everything he has. And I'll tell you something. God help the creator that ever has to go to Porta Down to replace Ronnie McFall because what Ronnie gives those people up there is nothing short of remarkable. And I'm like you. Uh, I'm full of admiration for him. And I'm sure it's his big day and there are not many of them left, Adrian. If I was to put my hand on my heart and be perfectly honest, I would say Ronnie's days are probably numbered at Portadown. Old Father Time is an age has caught up with him. It's a younger man's game now. And I'm sure he would love to bow out, perhaps, with an Irish Cup victory. I'm sure he'd love you to hear you say that, you know. I'm sure uh, he probably old man would. Time has caught up him and numbered him and all that sort of stuff. It's a and young you know, man. And especially at coming from such a young <laughs> flower like yourself. Well, I'm only a cub compared to Ronnie, but at the end of the day, uh, the, the amount of time it, it, it requires now in Irish League football, so seven days a week job, Adrian. Players are much more pampered than they used to be. It used to be you turned up and trained and you did your own thing, you get on with it. 
Nowadays, players to a certain extent like to be lifted and laid. And Big Ronnie has went through that complete transformation in terms of how he played and when he played to now. And he knows that players nowadays require lifting and laying. So I think it's got to a stage where it is a young man's job. Uh, Ronnie has nothing to prove to anybody. And uh, I think, if not this year, perhaps, I think he's one more year left on his contract from memory. And I think when he sees that out, I think that'll be Ronnie and he'll be moved upstairs and he'll become a director of football or something at Portadown. But what an ambassador for Irish League football and what a servant, as you say, and somebody that everybody can look up to and aspire to.